morning everybody, Picking for Profit coming to you with the newest sales update video. These are my sales from October, um, about two months ago I think I started doing these, back in August. Um, I, I went from 800, I said I was going to double that. I came a little bit shy in September and I wanted to hit, um, I believe, 2000 for um, October. I surpassed that goal. Uh, just over 2,000, so I'm extremely happy. Next month, I'm going to shoot for 3,000, uh, maybe 2,500 just to be safe. But each month, I keep listing more. Um, not only do I list more, I list several times a day, at least 10 items a day. So I'm really excited. Um, I've been keeping keeping on the dime. Uh, so And the sales have been showing, so my hard work's paying off. Um, let's get right to this because I sold 83 items this month, which is crazy for me. So next month, hopefully I'll sell at least 100. Um, so let's get right to it. The first item I sold uh, was this Lester Vintage BMX Mag Wheel. Uh, these are really popular right now. Um, mine was only a 16 inch, so I didn't get that much. I got $24. I purchased this a long time ago from a friend of mine. Um, well, I really want to consider him a friend. I met him at a flea market. I bought a bunch of stuff for 20 bucks, some rug beaters, uh, rim, a bunch of stuff really. So I purchased this ring or rim for uh, what I say five dollars just to be safe. Probably a little less than that, but we'll go with five. It actually cost ten dollars to ship, so I'm fifteen dollars into it. Um, I only made about ten dollars. So it's not a huge money maker, but I bought it, I sold it, and I made some money, so that's good. The next item I bought was this um, vintage Navajo Sterling ring. I believe I showed this to you in one of my sales or one of my finds videos. Um, really cool. I bought this for I want to say fifteen dollars. Uh, maybe 20 we'll just say 20 to be safe um, I sold this for $50 these sterling silver rings especially men's rings because men don't have that many options to choose from with the talons and the turquoise and coral I don't know if that's real coral or not but it's beautiful uh, the buyer loved it um, sold this for $50 so I made about 30 bucks profit on that maybe 25 um, it cost me two dollars and sixty cents to ship. This next item I sold, you remember in one of my sales finds videos or my flea market finds videos, I bought about I don't know five or I bought like fifteen brand new sealed games. There are three of these or four of these in that lot. Um, I purchased them for maybe a buck a piece. I sold this for ten dollars. Um, it cost me two sixty to ship, so about six dollars profit. And I believe I sold all of them this month, actually in October. So we'll see a few more of these in this video, I'm sure. All right, this is one of those. Um, what is it called? The uh, I don't know a life pack. The AEDs when they shock your heart to come back. Um, I purchased these at an auction. I had two of them actually. I only listed one. I wasn't sure if they worked. Uh, I put that in the description. Um, someone contacted me and said, because they didn't have a charger, so I, didn't, I wasn't able to test them. Someone was interested and told me if I just unscrewed the battery pack, uh, that they're just D-sized batteries in there and you can actually change them without having a charger. So I did it, I bought some D batteries, uh, tested both of them, they actually both worked, so that was really cool. I told the guy that was interested, they worked, I upped the price $10 because I um, had batteries. He asked me how much I wanted for both of them after I told him I had two. I told him, uh, I believe I told him $110, so I gave him like a $10 break. It cost me about 15 bucks to ship. I purchased these for 20 bucks a piece long, 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 long time ago. Uh, they've been sitting in storage for well over a year. So I finally put them on. I sold them for $110. I made about 80, no, about, we'll say 60 to $70 profit. 
Um, so keep your eye out for these. You're actually not supposed to sell medical equipment on eBay, but I think since these are just for training purposes, they let them squeak through. I'm not too sure, but they did sell. The guy left me good feedback, and he was extremely happy with those, so I'm glad to see those gone. Again, here's another one of those FIFAs, another $10 profit. This is a spy lighter. I've showed you this video, or showed you this item in some previous videos, maybe when I found it, um, maybe in one of my smalls videos. This uh, I purchased for a dollar or two, I think a dollar. Um, I didn't know it was a spy lighter until after I did some research. The bottom comes off and you can put some secret notes in there, I guess. I sold this for $30 free shipping. It cost me $2.60 to ship. Um, so I made about $25 on this. Keep your eye out for old brass lighters. Really good find. I bought this Sudoku game from a church garage sale. I think I paid a buck. It was like a fill a bag for a buck type deal. So not even a buck. I had this on eBay for 20 bucks for the longest time. I want to say several months. I kept lowering it, lowering it, lowering it took it off, put it back on. It ended up selling for $12.99 uh, free shipping. So I got about $12 uh, or about $10 profit on this. This is my first time ever selling deer antlers on eBay. Um, not sure why I looked them up. Maybe I heard somewhere that they sell. These have been cut off. If they're the natural end and haven't been cut off, you can get a little more this is just a small eight point buck. I sold these for twenty five dollars. I got these for like three bucks at a flea market. So I used to just sell these at my flea market booth for ten bucks a pair. But uh, being able to sell these on eBay really opened up my eyes uh, to how much more I can make on them. I think because of the weird size, this was like six dollars to ship. So I had about ten dollars into them. I made about fifteen dollars profit which isn't that much more than if I just sold them at my booth. Probably doubled my money from what I would have made there. Um, but $15 profit for some deer antlers that I spent 3 bucks for, uh, I'll keep doing that as much as possible. So keep your eye out for deer antlers or sheds. Um, people make uh, cut these off and make knives and jewelry and all kinds of stuff. Again, I sold some more of these film reels uh, that I keep telling you guys about that sell really well for me. I usually sell these for $39.99. I haven't sold any in a long time, so I lowered the price 10 bucks. They sold. Um, I threw some uh, film on them, just enough to get by as selling them or shipping them through media mail, so it was like $5 to ship. It's pure profit, so about $25 profit. Again, here's one of those games. Uh, this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, brand new sealed from that same score. Um, $8.99. I had six of them, as you can see right here, and they all sold. So that's uh, really good. I would say about $5 profit. Here is a lot of cufflinks. I believe I showed you uh, these when I found them. I got a whole bag of these, this lot plus a whole nother lot, maybe for seven bucks. Maybe it wasn't, actually it wasn't these ones. These were some that I had uh, just on hand. I usually sell these for a dollar to two dollars a piece at my booth. Um, here I got a little over a buck a piece, but I sold them. I didn't have to deal with a dollar at a time. Really happy. Uh, these honestly are pure profit minus the two dollars and sixty cents it cost to ship so I got about ten dollars profit out of these these massagers do really well uh, I purchased this for I believe six maybe seven dollars at the flea market the more uh, options they have the more money they bring this one I sold used for fifty nine ninety nine I when I looked it up, I couldn't believe it. Some do really well, some I can't even sell for 30 bucks. Not really sure why some sell and why some don't, 
But always look up these massagers. You can get them usually for under five bucks. Um, sometimes like this one, if they're in really nice condition, you got to pay up for them. But it's well worth it. Um, they are kind of expensive to ship. This was probably six or seven dollars to ship. So I have fifteen dollars into it, but forty-five dollars profit. Uh, to take some pictures, as you can see with my cell phone, didn't have much time into it. Listed it and sold it pretty much the same day I bought it. So uh, keep your eye out for these percussion massagers. Really good. You've seen this in, uh, if you watch my road trip video in the morning of that road trip, I stopped at Jamie's Flea Market before we hit the road. I purchased this dartboard for $5, maybe less, no more than $5. Um, I ended up selling it for 30 I did charge shipping because it was extremely heavy. Shipping was more than uh, $6.78, maybe about $10 or $13. Um, so we'll say I made about $15 profit in this, but I was just happy to see it go. These cell phones, I bought the whole lot. They were in a box um, at a Goodwill that I went to in Michigan uh, when I was visiting home. I purchased, I think, the whole box for 3 bucks. It cost me $5 for shipping maybe. Um, so not a huge money maker. I made about seven or eight dollars profit on this. If you can get these cell phones for fifty cents, um, even less, or several of them for a dollar, pick them up. I think I sold them a little too low because they sold the exact same day I listed them as. Um, I'm not sure if people extract the gold out of them, if they just like to be creepy and get the pictures off them. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, keep your eye out for cell phones because there is money in them. With Halloween right around the corner, um, actually yesterday was Halloween, but when I purchased this, Halloween was right around the corner. Um, I put these on October 8th and they sold October 8th. Uh, this was a Pikachu costume as you can see for a girl. It had some dirty uh, dirt marks on it. I said it needed to be washed, but it was complete, which was really nice. I purchased this from the flea market, I want to believe. I paid just a couple bucks for it. It ended up selling for $24.99. Yeah, I did purchase this from the flea market. I actually think I showed you in a flea market finds video. Um, I also bought a video game system with it. Um, yeah, I sold this for twenty four ninety nine. I believe after all said and done is about because it was only a couple dollars to ship. Uh, we'll say twenty dollars profit, fifteen to be safe. Um, so the costume I knew with Pokemon being big this year would sell uh, twenty four ninety nine. I was really happy with that. I showed you this in a flea market finds video. Um, I paid just a couple bucks. For the no, I believe I paid five dollars for this from my buddy. Um, it wasn't in the best condition, as you can see here. It was missing a piece um, right up at the top right, but it sold for twenty dollars free shipping. Uh, so I had about seven dollars into it. I made about twelve dollars profit. I'll take it. This again was in a video game lot I had. Ninja Turtles, Fall of the Foot Clan, um, I don't even, yeah, this sold for $9.99, surprisingly, it's, I shipped it, it was $2.60, um, I only made about $5 profit on that, so not a huge money maker, but again, I sold it. Again, here's another Call of Duty, um, sold this one for $8.99. All profit. I purchased this from a friend of mine for five dollars. Uh, it's a Stretch Armstrong. I actually listed this. I piggybacked off someone else's listing. Um, it said it was their listing said fifteen inches, and I didn't really uh, take into consideration it said fifteen inches. So make sure if you're piggybacking off someone's uh, 
listing. And when I say piggybacking, I mean sell similar. When you go through sold listings and hit sell similar, make sure that the details are all correct. This buyer was actually, it was a huge hassle. Um, he purchased it. Then it said, I offered free shipping with this. Then I asked him for shipping. So then he canceled it and then bought it. He ended up paying for this thing three times. So I had to refund him on two orders. Um, right here it says two sold, but I only had one for sale. So it was a huge ordeal. The gentleman was really nice. Uh, we worked through everything. Then he get, gets it, and it's not even what he purchased. So I ended up giving him $10 back. Um, so I really, he he was happy. He uh, We worked it out. He wasn't bitter about it. He got this for 20 bucks. Again, I had $5 into it. It cost me like three fifty to ship. So I made about 10 to $12 profit on this guy. Uh, it was pretty cool just since this was from my childhood. Alright, here's another costume. I purchased this the same time I purchased the um, Pikachu costume. As you can see, I only sold this one for $12.99. It cost me like under $3 to ship. Extremely light. Um, it was brand new. As you can see here, this is the actual pictures that I took. Um, so about $10 profit. I'm, I'm okay with that. This Sony Walkman I purchased for $3. I had two of them. Actually, I think I got, yeah, this one I got for $3. Another one I got for a little bit less. Um, but for 3 bucks, I turned it into $14.99. Again, I did free shipping, so I made about $8 profit on this. It's in, it's out, made some money. That's all I'm here to do. So this one was a Pentax ME Super. I got this at an auction. I believe you've seen me purchase this at the auction. Um, I think I spent 20 bucks on the box. It came with some other stuff. I just sold this though for 60 free shipping. It cost me seven dollars, I want to say, for shipping. Plus, we'll say ten dollars for the camera. So I have about 15 to 20 bucks into this. So I made about 40 dollars profit. I love selling Pentex. These brass plates, I bought several of them at an auction or at a flea market for a, just a couple bucks. I got these two, and then I had some old button ones. I believe you've seen in a sales update video, um, maybe the previous one. They sold for fourteen ninety nine. Again, this is pure profit, just because I made so much money on it from the other ones I've sold. So it cost me two dollars and sixty cents to ship. I made about. Mm, 10 to 12 bucks profit on these. Anything sterling with turquoise or turquoise ish stones do extremely well. This thing has some deep veins in it, some really cool colors. The per person that purchased this absolutely loved it, gave me uh, extremely nice feedback, feedback back. Um, I purchased this. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Cup under five dollars for sure. Actually, yeah, I actually remember I got this from Berea Flea Market with some other stuff. I purchased everything for ten dollars. So I probably have two to three bucks into this. Um so we'll just say with shipping and everything I made about twenty dollars profit on this. Turquoise and sterling combined like this, huge sellers. Make sure you uh keep your eye out. And I sell this stuff cheap. Some people would have this on for $39.99. Uh, I'm for the quick sale. I just want to get it, buy it, sell it, move on to the next thing. Okay, so I buy a lot of cameras, as you guys know. Um, sometimes the camera bags will have film in them, so I just collect it. Uh, this is all like the old vintage film, the longer tube. This isn't your regular film. Um, so I just lotted these together. I ended up selling them for $14.99 free shipping. After shipping, which was like $3.50 maybe, um, I should have sent these media mail, but I didn't. Uh, I only made about $10 profit, so not a huge money maker, 
But if you do find old film, don't just toss it away because it's expired. Just put it in a box, save it up until you have 10 or 20 rolls, and you'll sell it for pretty good profit. Alright, here are some more tie clips that I just had on hand. Uh, nothing really special in here. Um, the door knocker is kind of cool. And the bird, I guess, is kind of cool. But everything else is really generic. Nothing really interesting. I sold these for $14.99. Uh, there are 15 of them, so a buck a piece. I get these for under a buck a piece because I buy them in bulk. I sell the good ones. You'll see maybe later on in here um, which ones I mean, the good ones. Um, a dollar a piece for what these are, I'm happy with. This is pure profit for me. So um, minus the $2.60 for shipping, about $12 profit. This Nerf gun I purchased for, I want to say $5. I bought some other ones. Uh, shipping this was actually more expensive than I thought. It actually ended up costing like 8 bucks to ship. Um, I had maybe 5 into it. So I only made about $10 profit on this, which if I was smart about it, I would have just sold the bullets and the drum. I could have made more because of shipping, and actually the drum seems to sell more than the complete gun. Don't understand why, but it sold. I made a little bit of money. It's in, it's out. That's what it's about. Again, here are those uh, corkscrew, the wood and metal corkscrews that I've talked about in previous videos. I always sell them. This one had no advertising on it, um, or maybe it did at one point in time. It doesn't anymore. I sold this for $9.99, free shipping. I paid a buck for this at the flea market, so I made about $5 profit. Again, not a huge money maker, but hey, $5 is $5. I love selling Pentex, but to be honest, Canon is way more popular. Uh, college students need these cameras for their first or second year in film school. So the AE and the AE-1 program um, sell the best, so I think anyways. Uh, as you can tell, this is really good condition. I sold this for 75 bucks. I had... I don't know. I bought so many of these. I won't. For this one, I believe I maybe had 20 bucks into it. Uh, so I made about $50 profit on this, which I'm totally good with. That's usually what I make on these cameras is between 40 and 50 bucks. Alright, so in my previous sales update video, you've seen this exact same turntable sell for, I believe, 500 400 something like that. Well, the person got it. The box was absolutely destroyed. Um, he sent pictures to me. I said, go ahead, ship it back. I gave him a full refund. Thankfully, I uh, did purchase insurance on it. The insurance wasn't through USPS. It was through uh, some other third party that eBay goes through because I shipped this ground. So they actually gave me a full refund. Um, I tested it. There was some more issues with it. The arm didn't work anymore, um, but it did power up. Uh, I disclosed everything. I see I sold it for parts not working, even though it worked. Um, I talked with the buyer back and forth several times, made sure to package it much better the second time. Uh, he actually left me positive feedback. He loved it. I sold it for another $200, and this time they paid for shipping. Um, so I made about seven, eight hundred bucks on these turn, this one turntable so far. So I'm glad it's gone. I'm glad I don't have to deal with it. But it was pretty nice to sell it twice. These hand drills are awesome. I find them all the time at flea markets. Um, this handle up here. The handle up on the upper right actually unscrews and it has hidden bits in there. Um, really cool. This one is a Mills Falls number 5. You'll find these all over at flea markets and garage sales. Make sure you pick them up. If this thing was clean, if I took time to clean this, I could have probably got 40 bucks for it. Maybe more. 
Um, there was a chip on the handle as well. So if you get one of these and it's pristine, ask much more than the $19.99 that I did. Um, I got this in a box lot at an auction. I literally had nothing into this. It came with some tires. I actually believe I showed you that in a sales video or in a fines video. So I literally had nothing into this. It cost me like five, six bucks to ship. So I made $15 profit on this drill. Really good. All right, this is my favorite thing that I sold this month. I remember showing you these at a Jamie's Flea Market Haul video. I said if I couldn't get 20 bucks for these, I was just going to keep them because they're cool. After further research, found out they're extremely rare. There's not that many on eBay, maybe one or two. The previous one sold for 75 bucks, and they were in way worse condition. I could have got at least 70 to 80 bucks for these. Um, but I knew Halloween was around the corner. Someone was going to buy them for a Halloween costume probably. I put mine on for $49.99, free shipping. I sold it. Um, I purchased these for 2 or $3. Extremely happy with that flip. Um, I made about $45 profit, and I couldn't ask for more. Again, here's another Call of Duty. Alright, these are what I call good tie clips. You can see in here there's alligators, there's stuff for carpentry, there's scissors, there's fish, there's guns, spark plugs, more fish. So these are what I consider good tie clips. And you can tell from the $14.99 to the $25, um, huge difference. And hopefully you can tell the quality difference in these from the plain Jane ones. So keep your eye out. Separate them. Maybe put a few good ones in the bad lot just to entice them to buy them. But again, I purchased all these plus a bag full of Thai tacks that I actually ended up selling this month as well for $7. Um, so we'll say I got 5 bucks into these. Uh cost me two dollars and sixty cents to ship so I made about fifteen dollars profit really good these tie clap tie clips and tie tacks keep your eye out for them this I got in a box lot at a auction you can see the original price nineteen ninety nine I got three of these the box lot I got the whole box which had three of these plus a lot of other stuff for five dollars I sold this the same day I put it on. Uh, I sold it for $14.99. I still have another one on eBay, and then I have another one that I haven't even put on eBay. Um, so I'm just going to call this Pure Profit. It cost me like $4 to ship, maybe maybe 5 So I got about $10 profit on this guy. It is a tire gauge for like semi-trucks. Okay, here is another... Radio, again, these were tested and did work. I think I paid three for the other one and two for this one. So after shipping another $10 profit, I'm happy with that. Another Call of Duty, another 10 bucks. These glasses, you've seen me uh, purchase these for uh, 25 bucks at the flea market. I kept lowering my price, lowering my price, lowering my price. I ended up selling them for $60, free shipping. It cost me only $2.60 to ship. The buyer actually left me extremely nice feedback. He was super excited. So I made about $30 profit on these, $25, $30. Uh, more than happy with that. Another Call of Duty. This I got in a box lot with those other cameras, so this I had no money into it. Um, I didn't even think these would sell. Something this old and there's nothing special about this camera. Um, it's still the body, which means there's no lens on it. Still sold for 20 bucks free shipping. I shipped it out for under 5 bucks. I made $15 profit on this. Um, and I believe they gave me good feedback already, so good sale there. This is, again, another video game that I got in that video game haul. 
Um, I had to keep lowering the price. Some of these just weren't even worth my time putting online. Um, I only sold this for $5.99. It cost me $2.60. I literally made $3 on this. But hey, it's gone and I don't have to worry about it. This phone, uh, I regret selling this for 20 bucks. These should bring about 40 They are vintage. Uh, it's called the Genie, just the shape of it. Um, as you can tell, the pictures are terrible. And I am a firm believer in good pictures sell for much more money. The, yeah, I should have got twice as much for this. But again, the pictures are terrible. Um, but it did sell. I got this for a few bucks. I've had it probably over a year first time putting it on eBay so to me it's 20 bucks in the pocket minus the five for shipping or seven I think so we'll say 12 to 13 bucks profit I'm all right with that another call of duty here is a Nintendo 3DS dream trigger 3d again I only sold it for six bucks cost two dollars and sixty cents I only made about three dollars and fifty cents profit on this so not really worth my time but again uh, it was free because I purchased it in a lot and I made my money ten times over by now so um, hey two bucks is two bucks this is a blank a pocket watch blank for if you sell a pocket watch um, you're probably not going to find these all too often, but if you do, pick them up. Uh, they sell extremely well. These elk ones are super oversaturated with the Fenton looking glass. Um, they used to bring 30 40 bucks, but now I'm getting $10 for them. I actually sold two to the same person, I believe. So um, you'll probably see another one in those. But for 10 bucks, i I've made my money back plenty of times over. So $2.60 to ship, I made about $7 profit on that. This is my first clothing item, uh, slack, like new modern clothing item that I've ever sold. I just started listing, listing ties. Um, this is a Psycho Bunny, which is a pretty popular brand, I guess, by the designer Rob Codley. Um, again... Other ties are selling that are made by this guy for 20 on up. I had mine at 20. I had several watchers. I kept lowering it. I lowered it to 9.99. I just wanted to sell it. I have they're $1.50 on and then I got them on half off, so like 75 cents into it plus $2.60. So I have 3 bucks into it. Um I don't know. 6 7 bucks profit. Again, I'm happy with five bucks profit on anything I buy, uh, especially if I only have less than a dollar into it. This little sterling spoon I purchased for a buck at the flea market. Um, I actually bought one of the Canon AE ones. That's actually the Canon that I showed you. I sold. Uh, I purchased these as well from that same lady. I sold this for ten dollars. It isn't sterling. Uh, it's 80 percent silver. Uh, really cool. It's got a ship design on the top. I believe that's what it is. Um, sold it eight. Um, I believe it was less than a dollar. I put it in a normal envelope or something. Uh, so about six bucks profit on that. Here's that other one. Yeah, maybe I sold three this month two to one lady and one to another uh, two of them sold so I made 20 bucks or no 10 and yeah 20 bucks uh, shipped them out for two dollars and sixty cents about seven dollars profit a piece on those I purchased this key knife for two dollars I liked it because it was a in the shape of a key and B it was for a sheriff so I had a couple different uh groups that collect it um, the key, the knife, sheriff. So I sold this for fourteen ninety nine. I charged shipping on this just because I wanted to try shipping on something like this. Uh, so about seventeen fifty. So I made about fifteen dollars profit on this. Extremely happy with that. 
this dinosaur. I purchased these for a dollar a piece. I purchased three of them from a Goodwill. Um, this is the only one out of the three that have sold. $9.99. It cost me like $3.50 to ship. I made about $5 profit. Um, I just want these things gone. They're not really in my wheelhouse. So I was happy when that sold. Vintage bottle openers always do well for me. The better the advertising, uh, the better the piece. That doesn't mean the more popular. Like if it was a Coca-Cola, yeah, you could sell it. But if it's something odd, like... I don't know, a soda that isn't as popular anymore, like RC Cola or something. Uh, it, it's more rare that way. If it's super popular uh, brand, they made tons of them. So just keep your eye out for, uh, if you haven't heard of it, probably means it's a little more rare, which means a little bit more money. I purchased this in a box. I, I The whole box was full of little trinkets. So I'm going to say I have nothing into this because I really don't. Um, it cost me $2.60, pretty much anything small is going to cost you $2.60. So I got about, I don't know, $7 profit in this. Again, super easy to sell. I took pictures with my phone. Um, happy with it. These I purchased at a garage sale over a year ago. Uh, they are 3D glasses. Everything was still brand new sealed in the package. I sold it used, um, but disclosed it was still sealed. Again, these are selling for about $10 to $15 more. I undercut just because I've had them for so long. Really wasn't uh, too worried about it. I purchased these for under $5. I remember I was blown away by how much they wanted for one thing at this garage sale, like a Harley Davidson something, like a Zippo or something. They wanted like 20 bucks, and then they gave me this for a couple bucks. So, obviously, I left the Zippo and I bought these. I sold this for $29.99, free shipping. I put this in a padded flat rate envelope uh, that I got for free from the post office, USPS.com. Uh, you can get free shipping supplies. If you didn't know that, make sure to check it out. So, I paid $7, I think, for shipping. I made about $20 profit on these. This is really cool. Again, another bottle opener. I purchased this just for a couple bucks at the flea market. It sold for fifteen ninety nine. Um, they gave they gave me good feedback. They loved it. Uh, really interesting. I love old bottle openers. I don't I don't know why. I used this for a couple beers, a couple Coronas. I used it on. It was awesome. Uh, I wanted to keep it, but I'm not in the business of keeping things. So unfortunately, I had to break up with it. And making $15 profit uh, made it a little bit easier. This solitaire I actually got at Jamie's Flea Market for a dollar. Yes, a dollar. Um, this model right here, the Radica Big Screen Backlit, brings insane money. I've sold these brand new for well over $100, maybe $150. Uh, this I sold for $39.99 just because I wanted the quick sale. Um, again, I didn't pay attention to the details. Not sure if you picked up on it already, but it does say free local pickup. The person that bought it didn't pay attention either, so he emailed me and said, can I pay for shipping? I said, sure, send me five bucks. So he ended up selling me, uh, sending me $45 through PayPal. Uh, it cost me $2.60 to ship. So I made a little bit more, so I made about $40 profit on this. Um, really happy with that. Here, I believe I purchased this at Jamie's Flea Market from a lady I know there. I paid 10 bucks. No, I think I talked her down to 8 maybe 10 8 or 10 bucks. I ended up selling it for $24.99, uh, free shipping. So I made about $10 profit on this. Not a huge money maker. Um, but 10 bucks is 10 bucks. This little gun was in the same lot from the auction as the bottle opener, which I was just going to throw this gun away. The handle was broke. Can't see it on this side, but the other side was broke. It looked like a piece of junk. I did notice it said made in Spain somewhere on it, maybe on the other side. So I ended up doing some research. 
I put it on. I seen good ones were selling for about twenty bucks. I put this on for fourteen ninety nine. Didn't have any luck with it. Lowered it to twelve ninety nine and it sold. I shipped it in a small envelope for two dollars and sixty cents. This is extremely small, just a couple of inches. Um, it's a cap gun. Uh, the person loved it, left me really good feedback. So I made about ten dollars profit for something that I thought was garbage. So you never know. You've seen this in a haul video, I believe, that I've shown before from the auction. I purchased the whole box, I think, for like 15 bucks, which I kind of overpaid. There was nothing really good in that box, but I did sell it, end up selling this for $14.99, um, free shipping. So about $10, so I'm closer to making my money back on that box. Uh, plus there was some small stuff in there, so... I'm sure I'll make 10 or 20 bucks on that box, but again, it wasn't a huge score like I thought it was going to be. Um, but again, keep your eye out for belt buckles, especially if they're made in the USA, original vintage. Um, crazy, crazy things sell for belt buckles. So this was an order of police, like the fraternal. You see FOP, that means fraternal order of police. Um, really cool here. Uh, I liked it. The belt was extremely good condition. I feel like 15 bucks was extremely cheap, but hey, that's what people wanted to pay, so that's what I got. All right, I sold another Polaroid. These one-step close-ups sell extremely well. Um, $24.99 plus it cost me five dollars to ship. I purchased these for just a couple bucks. Um, this one, or I sold like three of the same model this month. I know that I s purchased a couple for three bucks, and I actually got one from for a dollar at a thrift store. Um, as you can see, it's in beautiful condition. All of them were. I ended up using the same pictures for all of them. Um, I don't recommend you do that, but I was confident that all three cameras are in excellent condition, so I knew there wouldn't be any worries. I already got good feedback, so that was about twenty dollars profit. I purchased this several months ago at a flea market. Um, it is a monopod for a camera. It's missing the plate up at the top here. If it had the plate, I could have easily got 100, 125 bucks for it. Um, I probably would have kept it if it had the plate. To be honest, this is a really good brand, Bento. If you ever see Bento um, or a fluid head, you'll see it'll usually be written on it. Uh, Bento is an extremely good brand. This is probably a two or three hundred dollar monopod. I purchased it for ten dollars. Um, it was in beautiful condition, besides that plate being missing. I sold it for seventy dollars, free shipping. Shipping was, I believe, like thirteen dollars because it was so long and odd. Um, so I had about twenty five dollars into it. I made about forty five to fifty bucks profit. Again, I'm extremely happy with that. These mail doors um, actually got all three of them for fifteen. Sold these for twenty three fifty. Um, so I made about ten dollars profit on it. I purchased this Game Boy case with those Halloween costumes. I think I paid like two or three bucks for this. Um, so I have about five dollars into it. I kept lowering my price. I missed the Pokemon Rush with this. Uh, a few months ago, I could have got 25 30 bucks for it, but I sold it for 10 I only made $5 profit, but it's gone. These cufflinks um, I got for a dollar or two at the flea market. Never seen any quite like this. The design is gorgeous, in my opinion. Um, someone else agreed with me. They ended up spending $24.99 for one set of vintage cufflinks. These aren't gold. These are just gold tone. Um, they're just cool looking. So I made about $20 profit on those. Again, here's another game in, from that game lot. I sold this game for $5.99. I probably only made two or three bucks profit, but it's gone. Um, probably just opened that twice. Sorry about that. Here is another Polaroid. Um, this one's slightly different. As you can tell, picture quality 
means a ton. Um, I am a photographer for my profession, uh, so it kind of helps me uh, on eBay. I kind of have that edge. So I ended up selling this for $29.99. It's an older one. I probably got this for under $5. So I'm going to say I made a $20 profit on this one as well. This Lego remote I got from the same person I bought the Nerf guns from. I actually bought two Nerf guns and got this tossed in on the deal. So this was completely free for me. Um, I sold or I shipped it $2.60. So I made about $7 profit on that. This was an item that was in the same box lot as the tire pump thing that the gauge or the yeah, the pump gauge thing. Um, it's a Peterbilt razor blade utility knife. Really cool. Original price, $19.99. I sold it for $14.99 free shipping. So I made about $10 profit on that. Anything Peterbilt uh, has a strong following. So if you see Peterbilt, pick it up. Sorry, must have opened that one twice as well. Here is the remainder of those tie tacks and tie clips that I purchased. There's some cool ones in here. Goff. Um, I don't know what that is. A gun. Boots. Uh, a plane propeller. Bird. Some stones. A hair. Uh, so there's all kinds of good ones in there. Tie tacks don't do as good as tie clips, so I made sure to include a couple tie clips in there. I sold these for 20 bucks. Again, pure profit. Shipping was uh, $2.60, so we'll say $15 profit on that. These dice I purchased from the same person. I got that sterling silver and turquoise pendant for that I said I purchased a bunch of stuff for $10. Uh, I believe he said, a, when I asked him, he said a dollar for these. Um, so for the video's sake, we'll say a buck on that it cost me two dollars and sixty cents. So we'll say I have four dollars into it. So I made about ten, eleven dollars profit on those. Again, vintage dice, especially if they're from casinos that aren't around anymore, uh, can bring pretty good money. You will find these on eBay, uh, different ho or different hotels and different casinos in Vegas. I couldn't find any with these exact ones. So I kind of priced mine in the middle of what everyone else was asking. Uh, $14.99 is what they sold for. So about $12, nah, $10 profit. I'm cool with that. Here's a Radica. I purchased this for a dollar at the flea market. Uh, actually, $2. I take that back. Sorry. Uh, $2. It did work. Um, free shipping. So I have about $5 into this, including shipping. So I made about $13 profit. Love big screen solitaires. Solitaire by Radica. Keep your eye out for these guys. Here is number two. I used the same picture like I said before. Um, extremely happy with selling that for $25. Bucks, $5 for shipping, so about $20 profit. My gold fill glasses never fails. I always sell these for about $10 bucks a piece. As you can see here, $39.99, 10 bucks a piece. It did cost me about $3.50 to ship, um, but not a big deal. I made about $35. Um, actually, I have probably $10. No, I take it back. I bought a whole box of these from a gentleman. I have about $2 a piece into these glasses. So overall, I have 10 bucks into them. I actually ended up making about 30 bucks profit on these, which is, um, yeah, I'm... I'm Plenty happy with that. This ink I purchased at the same thrift store that I got um, that Polaroid for a dollar. I purchased this ink because I thought it was for my printer. My printer, unfortunately, is 61. Uh, so I put it on eBay. It's, it expired this in the month of October. So I shot low. I did $12.99 free shipping. So I made about and I paid a buck for this, so I made about $10 profit. Keep your eye open for inks that are brand new, sealed, and that are not expired yet. 
these flare kits I got at an auction. Um, they're just LED flares, so instead of the flame, they're reusable. Keep them in your car. Really nice. They all worked. Um, I kept lowering the price. I thought I'd get like 50 bucks for these. Maybe if I waited it out. I lowered it to $29.99 the same day I lowered it. They sold. Um, I purchased these at the auction for 10 bucks. So after shipping and tax and everything I had into them, I probably only made 15 bucks profit. But hey, they're gone. I've had this SX70 for months, if not maybe a year. I have a few of them. Um, you've probably seen this or similar ones in my finds video. I kept lowering the price, lowering the price. I usually get about a hundred bucks for these. Um, I ended up getting 75 for this. It cost me, I did a medium flat rate box, so maybe like 13 bucks to ship. So about 60, I had 20 bucks.